Hello, welcome back to Going Medieval. Uh, when we left off, we were just making some basic structures and uh, we're still working on finishing our, our kitchen roof and our kitchen floor, as well as our campfire to cook. Um, I am curious if the animals need to kind of be not in the rain. I'm not sure. Just checking, let's see, wild animals, domestic animals. They can be tamed, they can be, they can attack you if you try to tame them. Some animals can be kept in animal pens to create a pen. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about it. Pets can be trained to become, oh, domestic animals can be trained to become pets. Pets can be assigned to settlers so that they will follow them around and help out around the settlement. Hmm, maybe we don't want to train the goats then. I don't really know, because I don't really want them following us around. I just want them to produce milk. <laughs> milk 100%. I wonder if they'll still get the milk from them, even though we're not trying to train them. Okay, we still need to chop some more trees down. So we're going to do that. Yeah, it looks like she milked them. Awesome. I don't know that we're gonna have, if we're gonna use, successfully use that milk in time, but. Bum, bum, bum. Um, let's harvest a little bit more of this. We are working on finishing everything. Yeah, the merchant left. That's okay. We don't really have much yet. Um, also, when I was looking at manage and it said manage stimulants, I was like thinking that that's really, really bad and awful. But stimulants is basically just alcohol right now it's not like in RimWorld where it's like cocaine <laughs> um so they actually need they get thirsty so they actually need um see like here she's drinking because uh let's see i forget where it says it but they do get thirsty and they get upset if um they haven't, like, drank in a while. Let's see if someone else says that they're thirsty. Uh, drank good ale. Yeah, but basically they, they do need it. As far as I know, um, they will get upset if they don't have... Oh, I don't want them storing books here. They'll get upset if they don't have access to that. Right now, I'm going to put the books here because... I want them in the library until we get bookshelves, which actually I think we do have bookshelves. So, okay, so we do have better beds, which is probably more important than... Um, I'm gonna move though. Well, maybe I should just put them where I wanna put them so I don't have to move them. Um, and you can put them like in a corner up against a wall. They can usually get to them pretty easily. All right, wall bookshelf. So these are interesting because they kind of, they have to be on a wall, which like m my first thought was, I thought they would have to, they'd be standing from the floor up, but yeah, it's not the case. Research available, agriculture, unlock crop fields. Yes, please. Let's work on that. Actually, I think we got it unlocked. Um. All right, crop fields. And you also need to replant trees using crop field uh, zones because you get tree seeds from chopping down trees. So I think we only have tree seeds and lettuce, cabbage, excuse me. I feel like I should put that medicine inside. Um, I'm gonna make this a very temporary- oops, what am I doing? 
Like this is a very temporary storage area. Medicine and seeds and uh where is mechanical components? Okay, and then we will uncheck you have to uncheck them to be allowed where you don't want them in order for them to move it to the place that they are allowed. Otherwise, they'll just stay in the allowed pile because they're allowed there. So there we go. We moved some stuff inside. Anyway, crop fields. Uh, cabbage. So my, when I first played, I made the mistake of doing like a freaking huge, um, a huge field. And like, I had so much cabbage that I literally could not use it. I mean, it was good because I could sell it, but I think I'm just gonna start small for now because it really is overwhelming. Um, yeah, ripe, three cabbage, oh, interesting. So you can choose it when you want to harvest them in what phase and that will control how much uh, crop versus seed yield you get. So you can do whatever you want to do. If you hover over it, it tells you. So we're going to start small on that. Oh, look at the cloud lighting. That's awesome. I wonder how the animals act in the winter. I am curious. Okay, we got one bookshelf created. That's good. What else did we unlock here? Chairs. Yeah, so... I'd like to chop down some more trees. We need, um... Oh, we made the campfire. Let's... Oh, animal feed. Interesting. So you can make that out of 20 vegetables and 10 hay. That seems like a lot. I guess that's another reason to maybe get more of a vegetable then. That's some- that's nice. Maybe we'll expand this just a tiny bit then. Um, anyway, meal, we'll say until you have- we'll start with ten. Um, so that's good. We're making meals. And now I think we should do churches. So I'm gonna put the churches, uh, it's gonna be, I'll just make one square, uh, rectangle building and then divide it in two. Because they don't like when one, there's like two religions I believe and yeah. So 10, 11, that should be good. Right, cause that will let me So this is the middle. And right? Because one, two, three, four, one, two, three. No, it's not the middle. I guess it has to be. Tw I thought. <laughs> Listen, all right, I didn't excel in math. Uh, oh, I think it's because I oh, forgot that the closing wall would be. It would take up a, spl a slot. All right, that's the middle. Okay, um, door, door, window, 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 gosh, we need wood. We need so much wood. Okay, cool. So we're digging. All right, well, we're chopping, I mean. Yeah, we need, need a lot of trees. I forget um, if tree plots need to be on fertile soil. 
birch tree. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if they need to be on soil or if they could just be anywhere. Is this herbs? Yeah, it's growing. Yeah, herbs will grow in the wild. Here's some herbs. Um, so you want to do harvest and not cut, I believe, because harvest will like pick things out without um, destroying what it grows from. Whereas uh, cutting it will completely destroy it, like I did with some of the grass earlier, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, building the initial buildings is kind of the slowest part. And it's, it's easy to get comfortable with your starting buildings and not really expand, especially when they kind of run into each other like this, uh, how it's like bedroom, bedroom, kitchen. So I guess I could always expand this way for the kitchen and I can always expand this way for the bedrooms and same on each side for the libraries. But I do eventually want things to kind of connect in kind of a square way. Yay, we're tending the animals. I probably should have them hunt a little. Um, I hope they haul that. Okay, cool. Whoa. Maybe we should hunt this, this rat. I've yet to hunt yet, but we need to get her marksman up. Um, so right, so fighting in this game is a little interesting. Uh, the I mean, it's kind of, it kind of is similar to other games, but. When the archers um, are up uh, above the ground, like on a fort or up in a, a you know fortified position, they they get more accuracy, which is nice. Um, but I never have that early on. My defenses early on are never good, um, and I also don't know the best way to use uh, like stick traps and mer these wooden. Well, these ones I kind of understand. They seem like they're defenses that you sit behind. Um, but yeah, I just don't know the best use of a stick trap because I don't want. I, I also don't know if my villagers can step on them and hurt themselves. So I'm a little wary about that. Boy, we're using a lot of wood. Maybe we'll do our tree planting over here. Um, we could do birch tree here, field maple, here, we're not going to completely fill those up, but it'll just plant what we have. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. It takes quite a while to prepare these. So you don't want to go crazy because they'll be busy for so long. And you only get stuff done... What is this iron right here? Uh, if you look on the bottom left, it's actually salt. Which is interesting. Um, yeah, that is interesting. I wasn't planning on like digging down right here. I think... I don't really know what salt's for. I'm guessing it's like... Uh, just for f cooking. Limestone. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to find salt right there. wonder if I can look up what salt is for. Um, materials, raw salt. Precious salt for preserving food is a cornerstone of civilization. Brine springs emerge in English town endings. Which or which? Preservations. Uh, do you just put it near your foot, your food? Wonder how that works. I have no idea. I kind of like that you don't have to make them tools like a pickaxe. I was, I thought that you did at first in the last episode, but I just then remembered it was just research. Um, but like, I just didn't think about it. 
Okay, so we kind of want our waiting for more books to be made. Uh, I think we need 20 for a lot of these, and we're at 19, so... Yeah, so clay bricks is good. Smelting is good. Wooden weaponry is okay. Um, I tend to get the decorative stuff here last, but it's I actually might get it early because it helps contribute to a room. Oh, wall tool shelf. Oh, interesting. I actually might get these then. Um. Oh, interesting. Let's get that, because that we can put in the churches. That's interesting. I never actually did that before. We need to get more wood. A new settler. Salvation, the kingdom of York. Forlorn and desperate, Arundel stood accused of treason against the kingdom of York by aiding and abetting the monarchy. I am innocent, he sobbed. Would you grant Arundel asylum? Reprisals may follow. So the settlers slammed the door shut, leaving Arundel outside, or Windridge's inhabitants decided to help him. So basically, what we get if we help him is he's really good at botany, but we don't know anything else about him, except that he's kind of bad at carpentry. He's 39, he's a gardener, we don't know his perks, and we have to expect an attack from two marauders. Um, I think we can handle that. We have medicine on deck, it's only two, so he is hurt. So what we're gonna do is immediately go to uh, jobs and put his convalesce on one so that he'll go lay down. Oh, we never finished these beds. Interesting. So he's gonna eat and hopefully lay down. So we will put his botany stuff on one. Who else is on one? All right. Should twenty twenty five. Okay, that's fine. We can have two botany people. That's totally fine. Okay, so uh, we need someone to tend to, so let's see, tend Robert, prioritize tending wounds, so Robert's, okay, hey Robert, uh, could you, thank you, <laughs> and if we click on Rindle, we can look at his health, he has a minor chest laceration, a minor arm laceration, and if you look here, he's bleeding, but after this tend, there should be a bandaged icon. Okay, oh, there it goes. Bandaged. So that's how you know they're tended, and it went from moderate to minor, and he's healing by sleeping. I wish that we would have finished these beds, but I think they just started... They just started building the building that I told them to make. Um, is cut plants chopping trees? Yeah, it is. So that he should help with that after they finish planting the trees. Because uh, planting is more of a priority than chopping. So we this is this is our time until our enemies arrive. We have uh, basically a day and a half. So he is still doing all right. He's healing up. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, let's, um, let's allow salt here and disallow salt there. So that when we haul it, it should be near the food. I don't know if that's how it works, but that's just what I'm guessing. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have a, a hole right here. But it is what it is, I guess. It takes them a few hits to destroy a block, but it should produce a little bit of resource every time they finish hitting it. Yeah, um, so they're distracted by this right now. I think I might put him on for right now. Put this on two and cut plants on one. I also don't want him smithing or carpentrying. 
or actually he's decent at being a tailor. Just gonna turn off. I just don't want them doing things if they're bad at it because they they screw it up. <laughs> they screw it up. Um, and like animal husbandry, you just don't just just don't do that. Um. He's got. Oh yeah. I guess we'll have him pick up a bow. He's got. He's got three marksmen. We don't have any more melee weapons available, so that's kind of all we can. Um, I'll just tell him to pick up anything that he can right now. And then when the enemies come in and we kill them, we should be able to um, steal their armor and weapons that they drop. So I'm hoping he'll chop trees when he wakes up. He's almost good to go. Um, there's a mushroom growing in the animal pen. <laughs> yeah, we're just out of wood and no one... I guess... Cut plants. Um... Oh, is he doing it now? Oh yeah, now he's doing it. Okay, cool. Yay! Plant reaping mishandled. Get it together! He's like basically naked. <laughs> well, he's not naked, but it looks like he's not wearing pants is what I mean. Maybe they're just short shorts. I don't judge. Okay, cool. Now we can finish building the bookshelves and hopefully these beds that we like stopped halfway through. Yay, we created a library. Let's go. So that should give some kind of bonus. Uh, I don't know what. Let's see, tutorial. Wait, wait, wait. Systems? Room types. Interesting that they don't list the room types in that. Anyway, there are room types. Library is one of them. I think, uh, decorative shield rack. Oh, sir, we need more wood, please. Every wood. Yay, construction level going up. So yeah, it's just like, if people have low skills and stuff, like construction, and they are doing it, it's just frustrating, because they'll fail a lot and waste materials, so I... Unless, like, if they're decent at it, I'll say go ahead, but sometimes it's just like, stop, stop trying. You, you, you're, just, you're just messing it up, buddy. Yeah, I see construction failed. Uh, search party arrives in 22 hours. 22 hours. I um, I can't remember. I don't think this game has reproducing or, um, or marriage, but it would be really cool to uh, have, like, have them reproduce because I think the only way to get new people right now is for them to wander in, be injured, you have to accept or deny them, and then you get attacked by, you get attacked by their, their enemies, and it's like, ugh, okay. Every time you get a new person, you have to struggle. I wonder if you play on, like, the peaceful mode, if people just will wander in and there won't be any raids. I don't know. I kind of want to make, a actually a little fence around... The crops. I think that would be cute. Um, I might make another pen like there. So like maybe here. Duh. 
Uh, and then let's change type like that. Hmm. Maybe we'll do one more here. Like that. Then we'll turn that into a corner. And then... Like I know there's still more soil, but I don't think we'll need it all. And then we'll do a gate here and there. Hopefully that helps. Um, another thing that you need to know is that there are eventually crop blights. And if your crops are connected, they will actually um, spread and destroy a lot of your crops. So I actually forgot about that. So I might have to... Why do they leave this open, by the way? This really bothers me. I wish that they would wake up and close it. Anyway, you should separate your crops. I forgot about that. Um... So, oh, it closed itself. Okay. Okie dokie. Are this, is the salt near the food? Yeah, it is. <laughs> We've got pies. They're just, <laughs> they're just living off pie. Jeez. Did we end up catching that rat? Oh yeah, two raw meat. I wonder... 12 cooking material. Interesting. Um, Alright, now let's put in their, their shrines. So this is the wooden re re restitutionist shrine. Restitutionist. Jesus, that's a weird word. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, sorry that this is, like, offset. <laughs> so, I thought we unlocked... I thought we unlocked Oak... Oak Brethren Wall Decoration? Where's that at? Is it this? Is it this? But you have to change the style? Yeah. So this is that. You have to raise the wall to be able to snap to it. That, and then brethren, like that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, at least one shrine, at least two decorations. Okay, you need two decorations east each. I guess we'll just put two in a row, which does not look good, but it is what it is. And then we could do a torch um, in the corners. Ba, 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 ba. I hope they finish these beds soon. All right, cool. So now they can pre Oh. I think I put this the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops, I put them both the wrong way. I think. Yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. I mean, they still used it, but... That was a little awkward. I swear I thought I put them the right way. I hope they do it soon. Bum 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 ba da dum bum bum. A 
Okay, we've got trees being grown over there. We're building the wall decorations. Oak Brethren Temple. Nice. They're just so busy. Oh shoot, the search party's arriving soon. Alright, let's save just in case everything goes terribly. I don't really have a place where my archers can like go up and defend very well. The plan is to eventually have that and I could make like a temporary one, but yeah. All right, Pervy's bailiff stood, arms crossed, legs splayed wide, a hefty northern woman not to be trifled with. Give Arundel over, she grunted, if, if ye want no trouble. The laborers behind her fidgeted, impatient to engage, then settle in for a night's drinking. Is Arundel worth fighting for? Yeah. Okay, one archer and two marauders. Alright, we stood your ground, refusing to give in to the demands. What the? Alright, so. Oh god, that's creepy. They have like a weird sack head. Alright, looks like they have, yeah, two melee, one archer. So, okay. So, where are they compared to us? Okay. So they're like... That way. Interesting. I don't know if they're gonna like... <laughs> Alright, we'll draft them all, bring them here. All right, so our archers will be in the back. Do you not have a bow? I thought you had a bow. I thought we had an extra bow. I thought we started with two bows. Maybe it disintegrated? No, pick this up. Oh, your marksman level is too low. Shoots. Can you... Where did that go? Can you equip this one? Okay, can you equip this one? No, okay. Alright, well... Alright, uh, Arundel, you go inside. Guess it's 3v3 since Arundel doesn't have a weapon. This is gonna be a little rough. Alright, where are they at? Here they are. They're coming in. Is there any ground, like... I was trying to find maybe a natural mountain, but they're all the way back here. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Okay, so Jillian. Hey, get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys attack this guy. There we go. The beleaguered settlers came under attack in spring of 1353. Okay, two sworn enemies died. Robert was the bravest. Rosa took the most damage. Okay, now we're gonna get his freaking ass. Attack him. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Uh, and you can chill too. Alright, so. All this stuff. 
We're gonna allow... Um, I guess we'll have like a graveyard, uh, unmarked grave, two, three, Arundel is auto-equipping whatever he can, <laughs> he grabs that out of everything, uh, we'll have you grab... Any, any two-handed weapon that you can. Bow now, now. So winter clothes, sturdy. All right, so I need uh, Robert to tend to Rosa. Let's see, how are you feeling? Robert's good, his hit points are low, but... Severed artery, Jesus. <laughs> Her artery is severed? Whoa, 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 whoa. Her health is like, rough. It was going down. Oh my God. I don't know that we can fix that. That's pretty, that's pretty intense. Shocked she made it. Um, so yeah, uh, we need uh, s some... <laughs> I'm so shook. Where did that box go? The shrine. Is this it? There's this one. But where's the other one? What the heck? I don't know what the heck happened to the other- Oh, here it is. Why is it here? <laughs> have any injuries I think you're all good except Rosa who got her freaking artery severed that's crazy I think she's gonna be okay though somehow yeah I definitely want to get let's see maybe we can hmm, I don't want to be too crazy so let's think um I do want, like, a great haul. Um, maybe we will harvest these berries. I kind of want to build... Um, I'm just, like, confused because of these. I put these trees here. So I'm trying to think. Uh, I, I could start it... The window is here, though. I could start it... I could still have a pretty good size. I just have a door out to the trees, I guess. Because mm -mm -mm, I forgot about the, the little tree orchard there getting in the way. Alright, her artery is only moderate now. Alright, we got the temples made. Our research is going good. Decorative banners, fermenting. Um, that might be good, because we can change milk into cheese. Fermenting station, an area for managing all fermentation from vinegar to alcohol and cheese production. Um, I don't know if that can go in the same room as the kitchen without it not being a kitchen anymore let's hunt uh this fox i guess even though that makes me sad 
And then we need, I want to make like a great hall, which would be like a dining room and a, a leisure uh, for their back gammon or whatever that's called. But they need, um, yeah, this, they need a place to eat. The thing is, is if, if I don't put it close enough, like later in the game, they, if I put their, their meals in the freezer, I noticed they just started eating in the freezer. So I'm not sure how to make it so they will grab their meal and then go eat at the place. Like it seems like it has to be really close to wherever they grab it from. So that might be a problem, uh, but I think what I'll do is make, well, I don't want to, in case I need to make this bigger, I don't want to interrupt that. Maybe I'll change this window to a door and connect it. Let's see, I want to haul these. All right, she's eating, she's good. She's hauling stuff and then we can cut these berry bushes. Okay, so that's out of the way. We might want to cut this one too. And then this window, hmm. I think we're gonna break that window down and Put a wall there. Oh, I've got to fix the roof too. That's interesting. Wooden roof. Ah, it's facing the wrong way. Whenever you're placing a roof, you have to hit Q and E to make sure it's rotated the way you want or else it's quite awkward. Um, so I think we'll do this to start. Oh, settler wounds need tending. Okay, well, you need to. Oh, she's. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize. Crap. Get her, Rosa. Okay, never mind. Uh, so that is new. I didn't realize that that would happen. Okay, Robert, you need to help her. She she's only bruised up. She's not even bleeding, so that's good. Um. I got super distracted. Uh, let's have Arundel just chop a bunch of trees so that we have wood and then this. I think I'm gonna build another wall here just cause to make it roofed, we're gonna have to have support there. I know it's a little bit awkward uh, with the lining up. We'll try to do something to make it nicer eventually. I'm just trying to kind of do the best I can right now. So we'll put a door here and here. We'll put windows there and there and there and for the roof yeah the roofs are tough in this gotta go a certain way who else needs tending
but I think he's doing it. All right, Jillian, are you good? <laughs> I didn't realize the fox would fight back like that. I thought it was Rosa that needed tending again. Um, so yeah, I guess you gotta be more careful with hunting now. Whoops. I wonder, I, I feel like the deers probably, maybe we should try taming the deer. Cause apparently if you tame a deer and then train it, it will, uh, can haul stuff for you. Curious if we can make it happen. I, I d we do need to kill animals though because they give you tallow, which can be used as medicine if you run out of medicine. I wonder if if we can hunt a deer without it fighting back. We'll tell them to hunt that one and I'll save just in case something bad happens. I don't think the deer will fight back. Are you trying to tame it? No, not yet. I would like them to haul this stuff back. Hey, can you haul this back? Thanks. We got lots of wood and tree seeds now. So again, this is gonna be the Great Hall, which is like where they're gonna eat on a table, hopefully, if they'll freaking do it. Um, and where well, they'll have their leisure activity. So I'll probably put like one here. Foot the goat has given birth to Linden. Oh my God, a baby goat. Cute. Uh, now I'll do one here. And then we'll do a large table in the middle, maybe like that. And some wooden chairs. It takes a lot of wood for the chairs. Maybe we should do stools. <laughs> we're not we're not that fancy yet, okay. Also, we could probably just get away with like four. Cause I don't think anyone's gonna sit here at the, exa at the exact same time, all of us. And there's only four of us right now. I was about to go crazy. We also need one more nice bed. Um, we could probably deconstruct these two until we do that. Um, one cool thing is if you click on these braziers, braziers, you can turn them on or off. So you don't have to like get rid of them if, you're, if your people are hot or cold. You can just turn them on or off. And it, in addition to that, you can open and close windows. If you click on the window tile and you close or open, wait, why are they open? <laughs> I guess they're open by default. Are all of these open? Okay, that's interesting. I, that's interesting. I mean, it is like, I mean, it's spring, I guess it's fine, but generally you wanna keep them closed when it's like cold. Wait, why are, what? We need to butcher this animal right away. <laughs> Who needs tending? Jillian? You're fine. Can somebody get this fox before it... Huh... <sighs> Also, look at the baby goat. So cute. I like how they made one of the backgammon tables before anything else. That's funny. 
Cause this is completely fine, right? Fresh. Can can we butcher this? Please. Who's our cook? Jillian. Probably should add a way in from this side, I guess. Just to cut down on hauling time. Okay, are we just not gonna butcher it, I guess? go I just want it I just want it to be ready to go maybe because we no we still only have seven out of ten interesting yeah see there's the tallow interesting and that gave us a little bit of leather as well which we need for tailoring later uh, has a research going I think everyone's busy trying to construct this freaking building. So it's a little slow. It's, it looks like a cold compound, I'm not even kidding. Um, but yeah, with that, I think we will end this episode there. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Um, that was our first raid. We got our church, church rooms built. We got our dining room on the way. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for, for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.